Hey there, what's going on everybody? My name is Ian and I'm back doing some more Final Fantasy 16 today. Last time, holy balls, last time a lot happened. We went into the, uh, what was it, the Dragon's Head or whatever, Mother Crystal, the big mountain, went into the heart there, uh, did, did some fighting, Sid decided to do a judgment bolt right in the center of the heart and uh, that, that, that destroyed it caused a rift an entity called typhon came running out being like i'm big i'm bad i'm typhon rah, rah, rah. and uh we fought him in another plane of existence that was weird only to find out that ultima is the big bad here and was trying to take over clive uh J joshua showed up and was like hey i'm alive my name is margrace i'm joshua look at me i'm the phoenix cool right he already knew all about ultima and uh yeah, yeah, like in like grabbed Ultima's whatever what essence soul whatever, not using flames of destruction but using the flames of rebirth, absorbed him into him, and then the place fell on him and I'm I can only assume he died, again. And then five years passed, the hideout right here. Let me see here. Can I read the map? Yeah, we're at the hideout. You know, the same place. Maybe it was over here somewhat. I, I'm not entirely sure. But it's five years later. This place was destroyed by Hugo, otherwise known as Titan. Uh, many people died. Uh, uh, yeah. We alt. We now have the name Sid. We go by Sid now, so that's fun. And this is the first time that we're just checking out the new hideout so let's go last i saw he was in the mess as always yeah we gotta go see Otto. oh we have uh, rama now yeah see welcome back sid so we're being called sid hey jill what's up girl torgo Otto will want to know what happened in cosmos i expect he'll be in the mess Torgal, look at you, little guy. He's a tired pup. Let's leave him alone. Again. I seen schoolboy swing harder. Uh, uh, uh. Are you guys doing good work? I like this music here too. Like, I don't know where the story's gonna go. Like. Five years have gone by since that happened. I mean, like, I don't know, man. Oh, what, Jill, you're not going to come up here with me? I see how it is. Damn, girl. I mean, did did Tomes survive? Is he still around? Like, who all survived? Sid. Staying on this time. Uh, probably not. We're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. Whoa, check this out. As hither yon dance autumn winds atop the rotten pier. Okay. Of Sid's return the fear. Shelves are closed. Sign outside should have told you. Yeah, uh, the sign outside should have told you. But there's no sign. Yeah, sign outside. Told you. Yeah, like that. Um, have we any more knuckle pies? Oh, sadly not. Molly used the last of the chocobo in a stew. Ooh. Last of the chocobo. That cooking chocobos around here. Oh yeah, I haven't done this in since they first showed us it. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of the new icon there. I don't know. Perhaps I should just have Blackthorn make me a new one. You survived, Charon? And what can I do for you? What up? 
They won't hear me complaining. Uh, got my own store as my own little counter. And thanks to you lot fighting the good fight, plenty demands me wares. Back. The constant bloody racket was not Dory's auto barking the order, just Blackthorn and Bartle banging on the day and Still. night. If a pain in the... Why can they not do the full voice acting if they're going to add one or two words being voice acted but nothing else? Doesn't make any sense. It's fucking stupid. Has it really been five years since we left that old place? How I time flies. Like it was yesterday. We were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome when Koopka's lot turned up. <sighs> not that we knew it was them. They just poured in like a plague of rats, cutting down anyone and anyone stood their way. Blood and bodies everywhere. There was a voice carrying out from Sid. Yeah, we all You're know that. Leader now, Clive. Promise me you won't let anything happen like that happen again. Promise me that come what may, Sid will save us. Going purse weighing you down. I mean, not really. Do you really have nothing for me? Automatically charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Accessory effects will not trigger unless the ability charged magic is learned. That could be good, actually. Increases limit break generation amount by 3% when dealing damage. Increases limit break generation amount by 6% when taking damage. Okay. I will go ahead and buy everything it's better i'll be here elixir instantly restores all hp 10k for one that's not worth it man like that's so not worth it you'll not find a better price than that come again oh uh, don't i'm sure i will hey guess five you're back you you, uh, you didn't happen to run out of potions while you were away, did you? Of course Maybe I did. A fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutrement. Accoutrement. Uh, accoutrement. Um, gear. <laughs> I'm glad you survived, Gets. That makes me happy. How about you, Blackthorn? Do you have a better attitude than before? I feel you. Things you ain't too bad. Got a decent hammer, decent anvil, and an apprentice that known. Okay. Furnace. Uh, blah, blah, words, 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 reading. Uh. Reckon you won't find a forge like this. Uh, the, sure, sure. I read all that, I promise. Past five years. You've forgotten already. And maybe I, I have. Haven't. It was right behind the arse gets placed into shape, especially with the mess we were in. Not that it was anything new for us. We put it in the old hideaway Still. together. So what would it be? What do you got? Ooh, I can make the eleven bolt. Uh, we're gonna go and make this. Cause look at that bad boy. From heaven on high, far as the, the words. Okay. I'll buy it. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. What about upgrading these guys? Can we upgrade anything? No? No, so just the sword. And how does it look? It looks dope, that's how it looks. Oh, what we got going on over here? Look at this landscape. Holy crap, dude. It's so nice. Look, Sid. Squeaks wants to meet you. Oh my god, I, look at this. I can keep him, can't I? Can't I? Oh, look at him! He's so cute. Yeah, of course you can keep him. This plank will have to be replaced. Then replace the plank. Don't talk about it. Are they bloomed at all is a blessing in itself. Look at how far this place goes. This place is huge now. This is so cool. 
What is this? Oh. Okay. So it's like a filter for clean water. What up? Are you tomes? Much was lost when the first hideaway fell. Colleagues and friends. Years of hard work. But we did not let that loss defeat us. And our work will not be in vain. No. The spirits of our fallen comrades live on in every leaf and limb you see here. What's that behind you? Foundation of the Lushnian Botnich. More bald tendrils. After excising from the trunk, dry for three and five turns and turn the sun of the brittle to touch grants more to read the words. I can't stand reading things, so let's move on. What do we got? Experimental record. Bohomula head botanist. If you guys want to read it, you can. I will not. <laughs> God, I'm terrible. Even in my favorite games, I can't stand reading. When Death Stranding 2 comes out, though, I'm going to do my damnedest to read everything. I'll probably end up not doing it, but I'm going to try. I've been thinking of doing a third playthrough of that game, too. Pretty much because of how much I love it. I got the director's cut now on PC. Mm. Wonder if this game's ever gonna come to PC. I imagine it's going to. Maybe after a year or so of being on the PlayStation, it'll come to PC. It's kind of how they normally do things. How long? I can't go and play until I finish my sums. How long was Final Fantasy 15 on the PlayStation before it went to the PC? Like two years or so, maybe? Not entirely sure. Ted, what's the special occasion? I come maybe up here to see you, beautiful ladies. If you think Jill won't mind. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I want to know between me and Jill. Are we like a thing now? Are, are we not? Did we not venture into that thought at all between the characters? I mean, Go five on. years is a long Keep time up. to not capitalize Go on that. Fat What's the matter, Sid? <laughs> you look as pale as the day your predecessor slung you in the cell next to mine. You're not about to have another fit, are you? Of course you are. You're a changed man now. We both are. I don't like you. What up, girl? Lordsman says I can borrow as many books as I can carry. This was all I could carry. I mean, that's a big frickin' book. How can you hold it like that and read it? It's a big-ass book. More power to you, though. I can't stand reading. Can't catch a wink with all the clamor in the hall. The atrium's quiet this time of day. I wonder, are we now making plans to go destroy the other Mother Crystals? No one works longer or harder than our Otto. You can scour the whole of storm and ash, and you won't find a better man. I think we found out who the hopeless romantic it's wants to be with. How'd you manage that? I had some help, but it was mostly luck. The others weren't so lucky. Dude, I'm digging this music, man. Lady Tyre is performing a delicate operation and must not be disturbed. I'll let her know you called. I'm glad she survived. What up, Otto? We'll chat with you in a minute, man. Uh, so that's the way we came. Gotcha. All operations are suspended until further notice. Yes, Captain. I'll let the others know. Why are they suspended, huh? I'm sure Otto will tell me. What's going on over here? 
new boards of anywhere that's really a good time to share this with my friend all in good time I am wondering what it is hmm interesting monster hunts maybe that'd be fun Final Fantasy 12 style maybe that'd be cool you know oh there you are Claude oh, my word God. of your adventures arrived this morning Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. The map room. That Taria? Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. It's not the dame, is it? Vivian. Trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. What up, girl? One might say the same of you. Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Vivian Could Ninetales. Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? Oh, to please. absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Yes, give us the backstory. I need to know. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would lewd relinquish ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on a crystalline dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The okay. Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now... As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Even Return Stevens. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Yay! Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Tomes is alive! What do you have for me? Here for another of my lectures. 
one would think. Offer you and yours guiding light of knowledge. Okay. Your understanding come before them. Okay, cool. <laughs> to pay attention during my lectures, it would not do to a point. The storied nine tales as your tutor, only to disregard her expert advice. I mean, that's true. About the hideaway. When I took up my professor's bonnet and began teaching at the University of Canberra, I did not think for a moment that I would one day count Sid the Outlaw among my pupils. But nor did I imagine my fellow educators would have the uh, designs on my life. Okay. <laughs> Such as the perils of an overly inquisitive mind, I suppose. One you won't uncover. Yada yada yada. Words, yada yada. Words, words, words. But instead, I would never say no words. A far more reputable fellowship. Than anything in the academic world, I assure you. Ask about the crystalline dominion. I'm My beloved about homeland. That. Crossroads of Valsthea, where one only has to stroll the streets to hear news from every far-flung corner of the realm. Its mother crystal yields more shards than any other, and its lands even now remain untouched by the blight. It is a blessed country indeed. Or at least it was. Until San Break elected to invade and establish a new holy capital upon twin sides, heretofore neutral shores. It pains me to see the land I love so changed, and even more to now, do not predict it. I knew that Emperor Sylvester had designs on the Dominion, but to abandon Oriflame, the seat of the Holy Empire since its inception, seemed too audacious to move even for him. Well, he did it. What's this? Allow me to educate you. By speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm by state of the realm and learn more about the current goings on in Valsthea. Revisit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deeper look into the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Oh boy. The grand cast. Of here you can view a detailed visualization of the character's relationship to Final Fantasy 16. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. With the blight pressing Rosary's borders and forcing ever more citizens of the duchy into their homes. Archduke Elwin rallies his nation to take up arms against the Iron Kingdom and wrest Drake's breath from their grasp. Yet tradition dictates that they must first march north to Phoenix Gate to perform the rite of ancestral communion, which did not do well. Person of interest. Oh. Okay. Of course, we have Jill. It's just a puppy. Oh, they're so goddamn cute. I love him. He's a good boy. Of course, there's me. Oh, here we go. These are new. Because I don't have the marking anymore on the face. Imperial Bear turned ally to the outlaw. In truth, he is uh, not only the first part of the Archduke Rosaria, but also the dominant of Ifrit, which is the ability to absorb the powers of other icons. In the five years since the fall of Drake's head and the death of the mentor of his mentor, he and Jill have strived to continue Sid's legacy, the light of Rama forever in his heart. After Sid fell and, and his hideaway was reduced to rubble at the hands of Kupko. I just combined Hugo and Kupka together, Kupko. Jesus, this is why I don't read. Clive took on both his predecessor's name and role, becoming the second Sid the Outlaw and leader of the reestablished resistance. Together with the other survivors and their new recruits, he continues Sid's missions to emancipate bearers and rid the realm of Mother Crystals. We're not going to read any more of those because there could be new ones when I go talk to Tomes. But this is all stuff that happened in like the first little act. Ambrosia! And of course we have you, believe dead, still a puppy, deceased, bitch, Joshua. Oh, remember these two guys, Sir Tyler and Sir Wade? I do. They were adorable. T. 
Tiamat. Yeah, we killed him. Dude, this is really cool. God, look at all these new people. This is nuts. Who is ah uh, Hannah? Yep. Wow, it's a lot. Holy crap. Mysterious being Ultima. Let's look at this one at least. Otherworldly being that Clive encountered in the inner sanctum of Drake's head, he addresses Clive as Mythos. Before attempting to merge their consciousnesses, however, Clive was able to summon the will to resist the creature before Joshua returned from the dead to imprison it in a cage of flame that he sealed away in his own heart. Yeah, that was nuts. Situation yeah. map. Here you give you detailed overviews of current and past events relevant to Clive's story that updates to progress through the main scenario. Holy shit. What is this? Ah, okay. <laughs> There's so much here. Holy shit. Okay, then. Thus ends today's lesson. Your lessons gave me a headache because there's so much information. Tomes. I need you. Please don't give me as big of a headache as Vivian did. I imagine you will, though. Damn, look at this place. Hey, item. Oh. Never mind, not an item. Oh, item. Fucking books. What up, Tomes? You've surrounded yourself with, uh, Tomes. Bozeman Harpocrates. <laughs> now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. On gods and men. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. <laughs> Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. Well. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's head. But... Without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. We're not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. 
<laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them, however well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. No, oh, you don't want to talk to me anymore? Shit. Yeah, we'll be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Uh, no, we're gonna continue talking to Hippocrates. My knowledge is yours. Uh, ask about the hide a way. Look around you. Well, it is a far cry from the Imperial Library of Oriflamme. In five short years, we have amassed more volumes than most men and women might hope to see in their lifetimes. No longer are the tales contained hidden away from all but the privilege. We have liberated them and they may fill the minds of all those who hunger for Still. knowledge. There is much more out there as long as draw breath, blah, blah, words, Why? words, words. Why, one day, a chronicle of your own adventures might even grace these shelves. Or failing that, the floor. It has been difficult, certainly. When Titan visits us, visited his wrath upon us on the dreadful night, we lost much. He robbed us not only of our home and our loved ones, but of what which Sid fought fiercest to preserve our hope. Hope that we might never have found again had you not taken his name and become our light in the dark. Do not let us hear. To Benemir and the Invincible were among the ghosts of the fallen, our journey can continue. Here is Billy Leviathan untouched by the passing of a thousand years. Words, words, words. About Tet and Crow. I still remember. Yep. Twins love for their parents or something to behold. Spheres pure. Yada yada. He just spoke nor smiled for years. Hide themselves away here in the shelves and bury their sorrows and leave the tombs. Thank goodness they did. For I believe the stories provided a welcome distraction, as over time their pain faded and now they laugh and frolic as they once did, if not more vigor. Okay. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them, you're gonna gain like five levels. That'd be cool. Oh. If you have a question for me. I should be happy to answer it. Not even a single damn level. Sid the Outlaw, leader of the faction believed responsible for the shattering of Drake's head in 873. With this single act of infamy, Sid's name quickly spread to the four corners of Alistia and beyond. Yeah. So let me go to maybe Mysteries of the Realm. Heart of the Mother Crystal. The brightly shining convolution of shards that sits at the center of the mother crystal. When a heart shatters, so too does the mountain around it. Since time immemorial, sanctuaries have been built around these are the hearts for the worship, the protection of these irreplaceable treasures. Okay. Crystals, the inner sanctum. Sacred chambers in which the hearts of the mother crystals are enshrined, believed to have been created before the time of the fallen. They retain a portionless air around them. Okay, cool. Mm. Mythos. The name by which Ultima addresses Clive, it appears to be his title for the Vessel of the Limitless Power that he means to make for the young Lord Marquez. But to what end he requires such things, only Ultima knows. Vessel. A name that being known to Ultima's gift to Clive, here's synonymous with mythos. Okay. Interesting. Lay of the land. I want to read about the Mother Crystal Drake's head. There we go. Mother Crystal, upon those swing that did sand break, ascend geopolitical supremacy. It towered over the capital, the capital of Orflam, its mighty silhouette, a testament to the power and pertinence. It fell at the hand of Sid the Outlaw. Yes, it did. 
the fall of Drake's head. Here we go. In the year 873, Sid the Outlaw, along with a certain, along with certain of his allies, uh, infiltrated the Sandbrick capital of Oriflam, bringing down the Mother Crystal in a daring and unprecedented attack. Investigations after the fact concluded that the infiltrators took advantage of the disturbance caused by an Aether Flood to gain entry into the Empire's Holy Sanctum. In the aftermath of the incident, Sid was declared a wanted man, and the faction he led a criminal enterprise to be hounded across Valestia. Very interesting. Okay. Anything else popping up? That really catches my eye. Pure sons of interest. Oh, the more, all the more, all the more. Dude is so cool. Oh, that's You're good. Always welcome, Clive. Thank you, Tomes. I can't wait to see what type of crazy form Ultima is gonna have as like the final boss. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. That's what I do. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself and it's all thanks to you Talia the scalpel did most of the work ah before I forget a rider was here with a letter from Gav Otto left it on your desk not a stolas all right I'll have a look and then you get some rest yeah, Talia you looking good girl damn what could Gav have thought worthy of a letter Maybe he's old fashioned. I don't know. Once the hall swept, it's over to the tavern crown for me. What up, Jill? Oh, baby, how you doing, girl? Otto was here earlier with the letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. I want to know the relationship between us that has hopefully happened over the last five years. Wall of memories. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is this just another way out? It's my own personal balcony. God, look at that. What do we got? The reading table reports, letters, and other important massives addressed to Clav are delivered to the reading table in the chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. Okay. The Republic's play. The Republican army marches on the Empire of Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you're doing to wear upon my arrival. Okay. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. Look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. 
It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. It did. Oh. It was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Crystals. To sit. Oh, wait, is he actually still alive? He is. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. is ever closer to its end and here we chase shadows tell me brother are our efforts in vain i'm happy you're still alive Master Clive, a moment if you Oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Gathering storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? If something has happened to Martha, we need to speak with Otto. Well, well, well you know, let's go have a chat. Otto! Otto, my boy! If this was going to be a dead end, I was going to be really pissed. What up, dude? What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. 
blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. <laughs> the usual. Somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers weak enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. All right. New quest is available nearby. What quest? At the entrance, I see. State of the Realm, a new update for State of the Realm. Vivian! Ah, Talk my to me. Favorite pupil. Allow me to educate you. Over here. Here you are. Do I get to see exactly what, like, updated? Oh, I'm going to Martha's Rest. That's what that is. Okay, I got you. Thus ends today's lesson. Your lessons are boring. Music, new music over there. Balk and Brawl. That's a, that's a fun name. Clive, is everything all right? and get this quest. Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. <laughs> the lake water doesn't agree with it then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. Both a coat of pitch might stave off the rot for a moon or so, assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. All right, well, well, I guess we'll go find some. What is that? The new little... Ah, what is it? Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, well I'm glad someone around here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, Live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Makes now, sense. Well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Oh boy. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. All right, let's prioritize that bad boy. Very good, very good. Let's get out of here. Open the world map. Thank you. All right, so where I'm at right now, that's Martha's Rest, where we need to go. 
We have that. What else we got going around? Not much. The mountain used to be here. It's not there anymore. I think that's funny. Man, look at this place. I wonder, does it look like this because... Is the blights coming in or something? Doesn't look that great here. Oi! Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. Gotta get used to the new uh the new Rama abilities, man. It's kind of like Alright. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. It's really that easy? That quick. I see scorpions that need a killing. They're not scorpions. <sighs> Six. Yeah, bitch. Oh, that's cool. Let's do it again. Oh, that's so cool. I love doing that. We're gonna do some more. You use your lightning ability and you get that lightning on him then you attack him with your other abilities you can like see different effects being done to him it's like doing extra damage or whatever I have to pay more attention to that very interesting See how it has that on it now? Interesting, okay. So I could just head straight over to Martha's Rest and I could go take care of the quest there. But let's head back for Cock and Brawl and turn that in. How do I go back? World map, there we go. be just really quick really you're gonna start me up here finish with that law welcome back Sid oh thank you I've helped well. you out did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reek 
looks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Argo sounds Same familiar. The old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. That's what I do, man. Fixing other people's problems. What is that 10, though, down there? I need to look that up. Ooh, increased attack by 12. Hello. Hold up. Hold up. Look around for the other. Traces burning blade damage. Rising flames. Heat wave. Do I even use heat wave? I want that. Abilities. Yeah, I don't even use heat wave. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Interesting. I can't see what that is. Ah, fangs of ruin. You're adorable. I love you. Do we see any indication of what that icon is? I guess we'll learn about it here eventually. Maybe I'll just look it up because I'm too impatient. Kind of how I do things. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. A rather shorter one than normal. Cut in around about the hour mark. Just a episode getting back into uh, the hideout. Checking stuff out. Kind of getting our feet stable because it's five years freaking later now. When we come back, we will be heading off to Martha's Rest and uh, going from there and seeing where it takes us. Anyway, if you guys like the video, hit the like button down below, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe if you guys like what I put out. But until next time, all of you, have a wonderful day.